The first thing you notice about water striders, is their rapid skipping across the water surface. Most insects of a water strider's weight would quickly sink and drown. How do they stay on the surface? Recent research provides the answer. Water strider legs are covered in thousands of microscopic hairs, scored with tiny groves. As reported in National Geographic, these groves trap air, increasing water resistance of the water strider's legs, and overall buoyancy of the insect. The water skipper's legs are so buoyant, they can support 15 times the insect's weight without sinking. Even in a rainstorm, or in waves, the strider stays afloat. At the same time, water acts different at the surface. Water molecules are attracted to each other and like to stay together, especially on the surface, where there is only air above. The attraction between water molecules creates tension and a very delicate membrane. Water striders walk on this membrane. If a water strider's legs go underwater, it's very difficult for them to push up to the surface. Their legs are more buoyant than even duck's feathers. The ultra-flotation capabilities of water skipper legs, may have applications for human use, such as self-cleaning surfaces, and antidote materials. As with all insects, the water strider has three pairs of legs. The front legs are much shorter, and allow the strider to quickly grab prey on the surface. The middle legs act as paddles. The back legs are the longest, and provide additional power, and also enable the strider to steer and brake. The buoyancy and paddling legs allow striders to be very fast. The National Geographic article reports, striders are capable of speeds of 100 body lengths per second. To match them, a 6-foot tall person would have to swim at over 400 miles an hour. Unfortunately, for the water strider, these extraordinary capabilities don't extend to land. Their legs are almost useless on hard surfaces. They are efficient predators. That speed is essential for the strider's most important task, snatching prey off the water's surface. While striders don't bite people, they are highly efficient predators. A water strider rapidly grabs a small insect, with its front legs, then uses its mouth parts to pierce the prey's body, and suck out its juices. They are particularly effective predators of mosquito larvae. It's always good to have some striders around. However, if there are too many water striders around, and they run out of mosquito larvae, they eat each other. They can fly to it sometimes. Many strider species have wings of varying lengths, depending on habitat conditions. Species frequenting calm waters typically have large wings. Species that live in swift waters, have short ones, as long wings could be easily damaged. But other species have wings only, when they're likely to need them. Polymorphism is the mechanism, that enables a parent to have one brood of young without wings, while the next brood has them. This allows water striders to be very adaptable to changing water and, habitat conditions.